Hello people may be watching this. I'm D Pickle and this is a Monstrum video. Monstrum is a roguelike horror game that I played a lot of a long time ago. I mean not that long ago, but still a long time ago, yesterday, not really yesterday, you get the idea. I played this game a lot. It was basically my dead by daylight last year. And I just thought I would go back into it. It's been a really long time since I played. Uh, I'll explain the game when we get into it. It you're basically on a ship, and there it, it's randomly generated every time, and you have to get off without getting killed by one of three monsters that can spawn on the ship. But this game's pretty old. You probably know what it is if you clicked on this video. You're probably not even still in it. In fact, we're past the 50 second mark, which is my average view uh, uh, time. Whoa, that was really fast loading. Okay, let's get into this. So, my initial goal with this game was to be the absolute best at it ever, and I just, I forgot, I need to, I need to change the controls, hang on, F is the interact button for some reason, uh, I don't, uh, R, and then this can be F, I mean, no, not F, I mean E, dang it, E, there we go, that, that's just better for me, E, yeah, it's so much better. Wait, did I did it reset my oh it reset all my progress. That's a shame. But uh yeah. And so you're on the ship and you have to use any items and things that you get to try to get off the ship and escape a monster. I don't know which monster I'm up against right now. I do know that if it's the fiend, I do want to keep my uh, flashlight. Hmm. Okay, flashing lights could mean that it's the fiend. I'm gonna take this. Okay, I don't really care about that right now. You can review all the stuff that you found later. I'm gonna search these drawers. There could be something in them. Usually isn't. So, one of three monsters, as I said before, is on the ship. They all have unique uh, powers. And the way that you can tell that this isn't caused by the fiend is that if I turn on my flashlight, my flashlight isn't also flickering. Because their flashlight will too. So I don't know which monster we're up against right now. Thinking it might be the hunter. It's been so long since I've played this. You have to look for the usual signs. This place usually has some stuff. Another flashlight, that's pretty useful. I can turn on the security area. I'll do that. Feel feels weird using F. Hang on, checking to make sure that it's not caused by the fiend. Very important that it's not caused by the fiend, or else I would want to hide right now. Uh, this place usually doesn't have much in it. I'll leave a locker open here, just in case I have to run in. I'm gonna get out right here. I remember when I first played this game, I was so scared. Like, I, I basically just found a locker to hide in, and I stayed in there for... Okay, it's the hunter. Confirmed. There's usually stuff around here. Um, there's almost always the uh, life raft pump somewhere on these containers. Not much anywhere at all. Always turn on the, the flashlight when you see flickering, light, flickering lights. Except I already know it's the hunter, so I don't really have to worry about that. I might do the life raft, but I probably won't. Hmm. Checking, making sure that the hunter doesn't show up. That the hunter, she, I know it's a she. The hunter, the hunter likes to show up when you're using the crane. Um, there's usually a bunch of stuff here in this security room, or not the security room, what's this place called again? Uh, the bridge, that's right. Uh, you know, the radio is actually pretty useless uh, when you're up against the hunter. Because the hunter, when you make a loud noise, the hunter can just instantly go where you are. And turning on the radio is a really stupid idea. Oh wow, that's a camera right there. So I don't really, I don't really have to worry too much about flicking lights. So I'll, I'll just, eh, I guess, I'll keep both flashlights, but 
probably won't end up using both here. Oh no. That's close. The main reason I don't like I like I hate the fiend, the heast, the heast, the least, is because after the fiend sees you once, uh, you're stuck in this music, or not really music, but all these weird random sound effects. And it takes forever for them to go away. And so you're never really sure if the fiend's coming close. Luckily, it's the hunter, which, in my opinion, is the easiest one to deal with. Just stay away from vents. Usually is impossible, but try your best to find the route that takes you through the least amount of them. Keep lockers open, that's just a general rule. And flashlight is actually just a great um, light source all the time. Now, it's really important that I don't make any loud noises. Shut doors behind you. Simple. Uh, you can hide under beds if you crouch and you just walk into it, hold down W, then S to get out. Uh, I could use this. They usually don't work, though, for some reason. Okay, well, there's some uh, eggs that spawned right there. Stay away from eggs. They have more eggs over there. There's just tons of eggs everywhere. Holy crap. So if I throw this down there, I don't I don't really know, but if I throw this down there, will the hunter go over there? No. I may just have to spawn the hunter cuz once you spawn the hunter in by getting close to one of the egg sacs, uh it despawns all the other ones. Might have to do that. Yep, all right, doing it. It's already done. So to hide, you just get into a locker, or anything else really. Make sure your light source is off, and wait until the monster goes away. And right when the music cuts out, that doesn't mean that you're safe. They still could be showing up any second now. Or the hunter just decided to be super lazy and didn't even chase me very far. Okay, I'll wait for another 15 seconds, but if I don't hear anything or see anything, that'll be that. Okay, looks like it'll be safe now. Through multiple playthroughs of the game, you kind of realize that just hiding the entire time, like hiding for... Whoa, is that a backpack in there? I don't think it is. I thought I saw a backpack in there. But through multiple playthroughs, you realize uh, there's no point in hiding in there for more than maybe 30 seconds at most. Now that I've spawned in the hunter, all the egg sacs are gone, so I should have more time before those come back. Oh no. Okay. So the hunter will be coming in through one of those uh, vents. I just have to get away. And I don't think sprinting actually alerts them to your position, so there's no point in not really sprinting everywhere. So yeah, there's no point in both sprinting everywhere and hiding in your location for more than 30 seconds. And I mean, if if you see the monster outside, don't leave your hiding spot, obviously. That's, that, that's just you. That's common sense. But if you don't see anything for 30 seconds, that probably means that they're gone. Especially if they're the hunter, because the hunter likes just going back into the vents. Uh, nothing in here. Opening this up. Ooh, an egg timer. Yes. That That's pretty much the only thing that you can do um, to break down doors. The radio doesn't work as well because the monsters, the way the AI works, the AI works, they only go towards wherever the sound started and not where the sound currently is. So if you turn on the radio, like, say, in front of a door but then throw it to the other side, the monsters, they will still only see that the radio is on the side of the door that you were on. So there's, the only thing that you can really do 
is throw an egg timer, because that starts the sound on the other side, so they'll have to break down the door to get to it. That's just kind of tips with D-Pickle. Really wish that it didn't work like that. I wish the AI went towards where the source currently is. But, eh, what can I do? Another flashlight. I've been getting a lot of flashlights. I don't really need another one, though. No, what? Trick? Oh, apparently if you push on doors? Or maybe not. I don't really know what happened there. Didn't know. Don't really know what happened there. I pushed on the door with my body, and it closed. Looking down the hallway. Uh, the hunter is fairly transparent, so can be hard to see her. Uh, beware of steam. Uh, turn off all the steam that you can. You don't want to have that be the reason that you die. It's one of the most lackluster deaths ever. Especially if you're about to go out with the fiend. About to crush your heart. Because the death animations for the fiend are by far the more brutal ones. Because the fiend is telekinetic and stuff. And can crush your heart and can make your arms go all wibbly-wobbly. Really bad stuff that you don't want to happen to you. You just have to listen for the audio cues. Luckily, the hunter usually is within your line of sight uh, when he spawns in. So, you don't have to rely on sound quite as much, but when you're hiding, you have to listen for the slapping footstep sounds. Um, what you have to do is take your time. If you take your time, you should be able to beat this game on your first try. Not that difficult of a game, except for when you are first starting out and you don't really know what to do. And you don't really know the audio cues. Looks like I'm going to have to go into one of these places. This is the worst place to go when you're up against the hunter, because the hunter has spawners uh, in these containment, or whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. But if, if he spawns in, he climbs up these things really fast. Alright, he spawned in, so you just have to run. Luckily for me, luckily for me, I was in an upper area of the, uh, whatever, containers, so I was able to just fall. But if I was in the lower area and I had to go up, then I would have to climb, which takes much more time for me and much less time for the hunter. And it's not really that hard to outrun the hunter. It moves pretty slow. The only way he can really get you is if he finds you in a hiding spot, or if you he gets you get cornered. But other than that, the hunter's pretty easy to outrun. So I just have to find my way back into the container area, continue my search for items, because that's that's the main goal. You have to be looking for the items you need to get out. Oh, I have two of the things that you need for the helicopter. I don't know. That might that might be my escape route. Searching the drawers. Uh, they rarely have anything, but they can, so might as well. Unless you're being chased, there's really no bad thing about checking drawers. The steam can only kill you if it gets a direct hit on you, otherwise it'll just hurt you a little bit. And I hate the shipping containment area when playing against the hunter. Oh, there's a sub part, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Ooh. You know what, maybe I'll take the pump just because I'll leave this flashlight behind. Wait. Okay, yeah. Just just because, you know, I feel I feel like I need to just in case I end up failing the uh helicopter ending because if it's getting fueled and I let the hunter get to the helicopter uh, the hunter will destroy the thing that's fueling it, and I will not be able to use the helicopter to get away. Just have to keep all the options open to yourself. And the hunter, it's really hard to get the helicopter ending with the hunter, because he really has no indication of, or she has no indication of where she's coming from. 
uh, other than seeing her. Unlike the Brute, which is a big burly guy with a flashlight on his face, and the Fiend, which I've already talked about, that makes lights flicker. And I need two gas canisters. So yeah, that was that was worth it to drop the other flashlight. I'm gonna head back up to the surface, or the, the top of the ship, to the helicopter, and I'm gonna drop all my stuff off and get everything as ready as I possibly can. Uh, the only thing I'm missing are the keys, I think. So all I have to do is find that, and that's usually in the uh, the crew deck, which I'm not in right now. I'm not even on the side of the ship that that is. I don't think. Just have to find the stairs, get up. The easiest escape route for the hunter, in my opinion, is the submarine. But I wanted to give myself a challenge. And by the way, if you are going to play this game, know that you will die. Th that's just kind of a general rule. You will die at some point. This is not a game that you should be able to do on your first try, but if you know the tips, you probably will. Uh, don't let the steam get you. Trust me. It's terrible. And hearing noises like that doesn't really mean anything other than, yeah, it's the hunter. Just have to keep your ears out looking. Now, the keys can spawn down here. I'm going to be quiet for a minute so I can listen. It's very important that you have good hearing. So I'm here at the crew deck. I don't really want to look around at all because if I do find anything, I won't be able to do anything about that. Oh, okay, then fine. I guess I'll go around the other way, you frick. Okay, now here is something that had been added in an update that was not here before. The area by the helicopter has these ultra-annoying steam things. But you can block out the monsters if you do that. I'm gonna leave those right there. So... Oh, unless the hunter isn't even gonna show up. I'm gonna leave the pump right here. And I'm also going to go over to these containment things, because one of them has the fuel pump, which you need. I hear footsteps. Not in here. Have to keep your ears out. I hear... I hear footsteps. Uh, the containers don't actually count as hiding spots, by the way. Don't try hiding in them. It'll never work. The monster's AI, it doesn't count as hiding spots. So I hear, I hear the hunter. Do you hear it too? It's not the steam, it's the... It's over here somewhere. Now, I'm gonna be extremely cautious. I don't want to ruin this for myself. I'm not expecting to get out, by the way. Uh, this is much further than I thought I would get. Not in here. Be quiet. and press the button. And also it sounds like the hunter, the noises of it, the thing rolling, but it's not actually the hunter. 
Hang on, gotta get in position. It snaps into place when you get it close enough. Ah, uh, I think the fuel canisters are in the way. Hang on. Hang on, come back here. Eh. Hang on, it'll take a minute. It's me being stupid. Okay, go over there. Thank you. Now you just take... Oh, I got lucky and I don't actually need to. I don't think at least. Maybe I do. Yep, I do. Okay. So that's two done. And now all I have to do is break these. Then, head to the, at the head of the crew deck. To get the keys. Now it's very hard. Okay, then I guess I'll go up here. Uh, I'm just gonna walk. Don't wanna run into him. Her, sorry. I assumed her gender. Now, the hunter gets very upset when you try to escape. Just be quiet and listen. The hunter doesn't spend very much time uh, outside of the hiding places, like in vents and stuff. So it should be okay. Now, I've, I've gone, like, several hours in this game without finding an item. This is going pretty well. No, it should be somewhere in here. I'll take this, because that's pretty much your only weapon. Don't need that anymore. I'll go up a floor. Just have to remember, you have, you have to go down a floor. You just have to remember which floor you're on, where you have to go to get down. The vents. If the hunter comes through the vents, just don't panic and run away. Ooh, two of them. Testing. Got two of them. It's kind of just a side objective to get all those notes and, notes and things. Oh, wow. Very fast worker. Don't need another one of those. Okay, so the best way to deal with the hunter's uh, egg sacs is you intentionally trigger them. There we go. Then you hide. Whoops, don't open it up again. And then, because after uh, you trigger one, they all go away. Wait for the hunter to do his hunter things. Her hunter things, I keep messing it up. I don't know. I always just consider the antagonist of the game. If it's uncertain and it's just a random creature, a he. I'm sorry. Listen. Don't know why the hunter didn't go into the room I was in. She saw where I was. Okay, I'm gonna wait another 15 seconds, and if nothing happens, there we go. That's kind. Of, that's kind of my rule. If after the music dies down, you just have to wait about 20 to 30 seconds. If nothing else happens, you leave. All right, seems safe. Hopefully. She didn't spawn in any more egg sacs, because then I'd have to do that again. See, they're all gone. Even though only one guy actually triggered. Heard that. But as kind of a general rule, 
you can always outrun the hunt the hunter. It's always a good idea to have um, a smashable on you because when you're hiding, you can throw it. Don't really know how much it actually affects the AI, but I always just feel like it helps. Ooh, duct tape's useful. You can uh, use it unlimited times to get rid of uh, cameras, and against the hunter, that's what you want to do. Because the hunter's main tool is uh, sound. If you can't make any noise, then the hunter will never kill you. The hunter also just sometimes likes uh, popping out of anywhere that you're near. For no reason. Like that vent? I don't know, the hunter could come through there. Maybe the keys are in the uh, drawers. I have had that happen before where I was searching for a super long time and I just had to look in a drawer. Which when you're looking for something in real life, that's where you go to first. Uh, cupboards and drawers and things. But not in video games, apparently, no. You just expect it to be laying out there for you to get. So I'm pretty sure I scanned this floor pretty well. I'll keep searching. Huh, I'm, I'm so glad it wasn't the fiend, though. Every time I see a flickering light, I always just am thankful that it wasn't the fiend. You know, I'm, I'm already pretty much going for the helicopter. If it doesn't work... Hang on. What? Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the sound only took two seconds to get done. If it happened, even like the audio clip technically started, but no sound was really coming out, it still counts. <gasps> the keys! Okay, I'm done. Okay. I finished. I have the keys, I just have to go to the helicopter and start the fueling process. Now the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to get the hunter's attention because the hunter, uh, the AI prioritizes killing you. Oh, he's in there. She's in there. The AI, the AI prioritizes killing you more than destroying the fuel. So if the hunter sees you, then she'll just chase you until it's done, then you run into the helicopter. Oh my gosh. Okay. You coming here? Be very careful. You don't know if your monster will just open up a door that you're approaching. Sounds like he's over there. You can use uh, where the sound's coming from with your speakers or your headphones or whatever you're using. It works kind of well. Okay. She did not see me. She's coming back. I'm gonna go over on this side and head down the stairs. Should be okay. Now, a really good trick. Dang it. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay, yeah, there she is. So it's okay if you're in an open area like this, because the her base speed is much slower than yours. So I'm... I really am not scared right now. See? I, I even just ran in a straight line and she somehow lost me. How?
how, I will never know. Anyway, a really good way to control the Huntress, or not the Huntress, I'm, my Dead by Daylight has kind of just been plaguing my mind for a while. A good way to control the hunter, hunter is to put the egg timer right there. So, once the egg timer goes off, wait a second, and then start powering up the, uh, or fueling the helicopter. So now it's done. The helicopter's all fueled up, ready for me to go once it's fueled. Just gotta put this on here. There we go. Once the egg timer goes off, I'll wait a second. And then I'll start fueling. There we go. Part really is the ending segment because it's just to concentrate, you just have to concentrate on where uh, it's going. Monstrum. Uh, you get a different ending depending on which monster, or I mean ending cutscene, depending on which monster you took, you have, and which escape route you took. But you always end up getting away. There's nothing you can do to change that. Um, so I beat it in half an hour, and that's me knowing what I'm doing, and knowing just kind of the way the game works. You can probably beat it in about an hour if you don't, and you're just super careful. Um, that's, that's it. A lot of people need this, by the way. In case, in case you weren't aware. <sighs> Special thanks. And then, and once that's done, you just go back here, and I had collected all the notes and audio, but it pretty much deleted all my stuff. If you, if you want to, you can look up another video if you want to hear all the audio and read all the notes. I would have done that myself, but for some reason getting a new computer made it lose all that progress. But anyway, yeah, that was Monstrum. Let me know what you think. If you like seeing other content, you probably do, or you didn't even watch this video very far in. Whatever. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Don't ask me to follow you on Instagram, and I'll see you in another one.